Web developing is a growing industry. Roloff Jan Elzinga has chosen this line of work, which is not only skill required, but competitive. We'll learn more about Roloff Jan Elzinga's aspirations in the next few minutes. What are your life goals and what do you plan to do after college? Well, maybe for work for a company like web development, but I can also do freelance work just to work for myself because that does sound like a very good idea to me because it's fun. What does web developing consist of? Are there any special skills that are required? Yes, there are several types of web development. There is front end, like the looks of the website, and there is back end, how the website works. Those are the two main parts, so I'm like the guy who makes the website work instead of how the website looks. So that is one thing that you need to like understand, I guess. Certain skills you may need is a uh, structured mind. You need to have, you need to know how to structure things correctly to actually make them work efficiently within a website. If you choose to be a freelancer, um, potential clients will come to you. So, but they, they won't, they will probably not just come to you, they'll probably go into more people just to see who's cheaper, who's better, stuff like that. So you need to stay as active as you possibly can to actually prove that you're the best for the best price. What are some of the major companies that you would like to work for in the future? Well, companies like, I don't know, Facebook or something. I mean, Facebook is, they, they, they pretty much own the whole social media scene. All right, let's talk about college now. Um, would you say that college has prepared you for becoming a full-time developer? It's definitely laid like a basis for it. It taught me the basic skills I needed, but in order to actually get a job in the field, you need to learn a lot more than just stuff you learn in college.